Good morning, guys. Welcome to Trade Confident. You guys are doing very well. Uh, if you guys are following this channel, uh, I don't mean that to be arrogant by any means. If you guys are following me and the trades that I've been doing, you guys are up. We're up about 881. We've taken withdrawals in the market here. We're doing very well. Those of you guys who just watched the video for Dogecoin, you guys just won a guaranteed Dogecoin trade. It is not a ton, but if you guys watched that video, you guys just won the Dogecoin trade. We also, that's, so that's a guaranteed win on Dogecoin. We have a guaranteed win on ADA if you guys are following the signals I'm sending out. And now you have another guaranteed win on LINK, and this is 26.98%, almost 27% on this trade, okay? If you guys, the question I'm gonna get today is like, Travis, how do I get over there? Guys, go to tradeconfident.io, it's in the description. Go to pricing, get your membership, it is $49 a month. You get access to all the metrics. I'm gonna show you guys the metrics today for LINK. Here's how you guys get the live trade setups. Go to live trades on the front page. Here's the tab, you guys can clearly see that. Go down here, go under Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, all of these trades here. Here's an example for Bitcoin. Come in here, you guys are gonna see a live price at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every single morning, even over the weekend. Wherever the live price is at, set your four buy limits at the first four yellow lines. That's all you have to do. Set them, once your first buy limit gets hit, set your sell limit at the uh, yellow line above this, and you guys are good to go. I do update these lines, they are dynamic, so throughout the week, Make sure you guys do update them and check back you know, every day just to see if anything is updated. This is how we got into the link trade down here. And I will uh, show this to you. Actually, I, I wanna show this to you guys on over here. We have new trade setups, but those of you guys who came over here about a week ago and you guys clicked on link, which is on the second page over here for chain link, you guys clicked in here, you guys saw the buy limits, you set them up and you got in at 2448. And this was a perfect entry for us at this level because I thought we were gonna move up right around 25, but I got us in just a little bit lower here and then we ended up snagging this uh, profit here. So full disclosure, I know I have a lot of clients in this trade. I am personally not in here because I am in the 88 trade and I've been making money over there on that trade. So for a link, let's let's finish up here. I am calling a 50% exit right now at $31.08. Basically, it's a market order. The moment you see this video published on YouTube, I am calling a 50% exit at a market order. That leaves 25%, 50%. That leaves 25%. What do you do with that? I want you guys all to move your 25% as a stop. Basically, it's gonna be called a sell stop if you guys are using that on, on any exchange or using the Coinbase and such like that, okay? I'm, I'm tracking this on Coinbase. Go into your mobile app for Coinbase go to sell and you're gonna see an option at the top. It's gonna to say market, it's gonna say limit, and it's gonna say stop. You want to do a sell stop order and I want you guys to put that in at this price here of 26.73. This is a guaranteed winning trade for you guys. There's no way you can possibly lose this trade if you follow the simple instructions. If you guys come over here, if you're following the entries and you're following this YouTube channel, you guys are doing fantastic. We have never lost a trade on this channel yet. We are currently assessing the Ethereum trade. You, if you guys know about that, you know about that, but you guys are doing very well in this. Okay, let's go over the metrics and then I'm gonna give you guys uh, just an official call of where I think this is gonna go. The trend exhaustion and the price versus the well money flow in the trend dashboard, guys. These indicators are in the description. Come over here, I'm gonna make this very fast because I wanna get into the analysis. Indicator tab, this is where you can access everything. The bundle deal is the best, you get everything. You also get the source code to all the indicators as well. Take a look at money flow. We are pushing into the top section up here where historically when we have moved up to this area, we can see that the whales like to take money out of the market. This green line is well money flow. Price action is in pink, money flow is in green, okay? So when we see this printing on the chart here, we can see that we end up moving down historically when we get to these top positions. This is because even whales look to take money out of the market. And that's why I'm expecting to see some type of pullback over the weekend for LINK, all right? Now, another reason for this is the trend exhaustion is pushing up into the top red section. Historically, when we've seen this happen, we do need to look in the market to say, okay, well, what has happened in the past? Guys, the only reason you use indicators on your chart is because you look at historical reference to what's happened in the past. The only reason you use harmonic patterns, the only reason you use trading patterns is because you look at the past to see how accurate they have been. If they didn't have past, evidence, you would not use any metrics or anything. So the reason why I call this out a lot and I'm doing these circles like on every single video is like, look, it called the drop here, it called the drop there, it called the drop there, called the drop there, and it also called the drop here. Uh, let me get the crosshairs out. Consolidation move here into the drop back down, okay? So I mean, I can arguably even show you guys this one right here and say, okay, well, we call the top a consolidation and move back down. So one, two, three, four, five, six times this indicator has been correct. Even look over here, we ended up seeing this pump up and then we saw that move back down, okay? 
I do believe if over the weekend here we get up into the top red section, we will see the price try to move back down. It, it, it makes sense, guys. We're at this structure high here where it's blasted past this, and we could start seeing LINK move back down. That's why I'm calling a 50% exit on LINK right now. Now, watch this yourself, guys, over the weekend, and whenever you guys want to trade, get these indicators on your chart. Also, what I want to show you guys is this. Let me please understand this, guys. This is so important. I did a coaching call with someone. I'm like, Here's the reason why I do not use the RSI stochastic in MACD on my charts. I know that the majority of retail traders use the RSI, the stochastic, and the MACD. Most um, <laughs> brokers actually come standard with the RSI and the stochastic, and sometimes the MACD already loaded on your chart when you first get it. This is what retail traders will look at. All the new traders will look at this. When these are bullish, they're going to get into the market. When the moving averages are bullish, I know they're going to get in the market because they're going to trade because the trend is their friend. What I've been teaching you guys on here is smart money. Watch, I'm just going to move over into this. We're just going to jump right in. Okay, smart money actually looks to short out traders when we start getting into the greedy and the excited section. So when all of the retail trader indicators are looking 100% bullish with all green, this is where I look to take profit. Most retail traders will jump on this because they say the trend is moving up and they want to trade with momentum. I've said this many times. Those traders are not wrong. They can make money in the market. But I have seen us make far more money when we buy when there's anxiety in the market because retail traders are selling, we buy in at the bottom, and then we actually sell while all the retail traders are getting excited when all of their basic indicators are looking bullish, okay? This is the difference I've been trying to show you guys on this channel, and, and follow me down here. Uh, these metrics will update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and yes, not only do you guys get the trade entries, but you get access to all the, the metrics for all these coins here. This is the same thing you get for all of them, actually. Um, some of them don't have on-chain metrics for long and short, I think like VET, but, but the rest of them do. Okay, we are sitting in the neutral territory right now. I do think we're going to start pushing up into the excited area, which is evidence of why I want to exit another 50% right now for this trade. I wouldn't doubt if before I get off the video, we do see a little bit of move down here. So take a look at this. Long trade, on-chain metrics, guys. You can't fake this stuff. Long trades are clearly moving out of the market on Bitfinex while short trades are increasing, okay? This is a bearish formation for, um, we'll call it on-chain metrics. It's, it's actually the technical term. Transactions happening on the blockchain. Long trades are moving out. Short trades are moving up. What happens with this? This means there is short trade pressure in the market, okay? When this happens and long trades move out of the market while you have price structure moving up, this usually pushes us into a drop, okay? This usually starts pushing us back down. Let's continue here. Long for short trade risk. This is pushed up into the great short trade territory. Another strong reason why I am calling a 50% exit up here as well as you guys just made 27% on this trade. So that's a, that's quite a bit of money here. So I'm calling another exit for that reason. Question you guys are gonna have, should you short the market? Guys, I am. if you are following what I am personally doing on this channel, all the trades I've taken, I've never lost a trade. I will never short crypto on this channel, okay? Some exchanges force you to use leverage and I am never gonna use leverage because I don't believe in leverage for trading cryptocurrency. I don't believe in debt and leverage is debt. If you don't believe it, it's just not true. L leverage is taking loans out from an exchange to borrow money that you don't currently have, okay? That's just the best way to put it. I don't do debt in life. I don't do debt in trading. I trade with cash. And not only do we have that thought, we also have the thought of you guys can get stopped out very quick if you're leveraging on your short trades. You're going to get margin calls because your dollar cost average isn't going to work because your second entry on your dollar cost average is going to be a margin call because you didn't spread it out in pure cash. You borrowed extra money, okay? Sorry if I just had to go on that little rant there. Like, I get so many questions about it, and it's actually a very good question. Should I use leverage or should I not? And some of you guys have used leverage and you've done very well. But for the average retail trader, guys, I do not suggest using leverage whatsoever. Okay, take a look at this. This is another reason why I'm calling an exit on link, okay, chain link. We've seen in the past year, when we start seeing these nice metric bars down here, it's when the price is moving up, and that's when the price end up moving back down. We even see this down here. If we just take a look at these few little moments here where we saw smart money looking to short, this is when all the retail traders were getting excited. Why? Because of the price is moving up. Well, what happened? Smart money and well and institutional money came in here and they shorted and the price went back down. The price went down here. Excuse me, guys. Price went down here. So what I'm expecting here is to see a little bit of a pullback on link. And this metric is showing us that we could be seeing a little bit of a move back down. So that's 
just another reason why I'm, I'm calling this exit here. Okay, um, as far as resistance points, guys, we're actually pushed up into this uh, really nice, you know, you can arguably call it, you know, at this moment, we are just basically creating um, another higher high on the chart. We've not broken the all-time high, so this could absolutely go up further, but just a reason why I want to call this. Those of you guys who got into the dollar cost average entries, you guys are doing very well. Basically, if you don't want to trade stop losses and all that type of stuff, and you just want to throw money into the market, these are great places. Every day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, you guys can check to see if you get a green line, and you can just throw money into the market if you want. That's totally your discretion. Here's another solid reason why I'm calling an exit right now, guys. <laughs> we have a, a huge red bar here on the exit points. When we've seen this, we have seen drops back down in the market. More times than not, we have seen very good moves back down, and it is held true. There are times when it will get overextended, and it will give us warnings. That is when I scale out of the market. But Historically, more times than not, this is when we start seeing moves back down in the market. So this is just another reason why I am calling an exit. So there you guys go. Um, guaranteed winner on link. If this keeps shooting up here, you still have 25% in the market. So my next thing I'm going to just tell you guys to wrap this up. If this gets anywhere close to 34 cents, my official call is exit the entire position, which is simply exiting the remainder, which is 25% of this trade. Let me recap real quick, and we're going to end this video, okay? You guys should have 25% exit already, and I'm calling an official 50% exit right now with a market order. Go into Coinbase, go to sell, market, exit. That's my official call, not financial advice. I have to verbally say that. But for the clients that I'm working with, those of you guys over email who are in this, I'm calling a 50% exit. And then the remaining 25%, you guys put down here as a sell stop order at 26.73. If you feel this is at a really good high right now, you can exit the full position and just come over here and make sure you guys go to the front page and just get ready for the next long trade. Right down here on the second page, go to the old, older ones and then you guys click right here. You guys are gonna see the live price. You're gonna see four yellow lines below the current price. That is where your next entry is and we'll write it up from there. This cannot get any simpler, guys. Congratulations for all of you guys who have a guaranteed win on Dogecoin. Congratulations for a guaranteed win on ADA. And congratulations again for a guaranteed win on Link. Congrats, guys. God bless you so, so much. All the indicators are in the description as well as the first comment of this video. And you guys can also get all of this over at tradeconfident.io with your membership. Have a good weekend, guys. I won't be doing videos over the weekend, so this is a very good time to get this. I will be back on Monday to do videos with you guys. So I will see you then. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good one.